What's up guys? Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Sea Life. Got these motion sickness glasses from Amazon. They better work. Because I'm the only one who gets seasick. But uh, we out here with uh, Peter, Gucci, Anthony, Sang. We about to go flounder fishing and uh, maybe catch some sea bass too. And then later on hit another wreck, get some flounder. But today's a flounder day. So hopefully catch some flounder. It's a nice beautiful day. It is pretty rough though, kind of. A little two foot waves, five seconds, but uh, it's feeling good, it's warming up. So uh, see you guys when we get some fish. Woo! Anthony's on the first fish. Sea bass, nice sea bass. Nice. Huge. Nice. All right guys, it's a little windy out here. Couldn't catch any flounder, so we're moving to the triangle wrecks. If you guys know about triangle wrecks, there's flounder. So hopefully we we'll catch some flounder. See you guys when we get there. Sang's on, Sang's on. Let's see what he got. Flounder? Yes, sir. Nice. Yes, sir. Very nice. Right on, Captain. First drop. That's not a small one. See that? Hell yeah, look at that dome mat. Let's go. Nice. Let's catch some more. It's getting hectic here. Anthony's on enough. Anthony's on. Look at that. We get catching dome mats here. Peter just lost one because he tried to flip it in here. We catching them left and right. Another flounder, but it looked undersized, so we're going to throw it back. Captain's on another flounder. Let's go. Look at that. That's a keeper right there. That is a whole keeper. Nice. Let's go, Captain. Captain Matt's on fire. Look at that flounder. That's another keeper right there. These custom bucktails are doing some magic for me. Yes, sir. He is the flounder founder. Man, that is a nice flounder. You gotta eat some good tonight. And they just got on another flounder. We're killing it out here. We just saw... Look at that. We just saw this boat behind us catch a big mahi. We're trying to maybe catch a mahi too, hopefully. Damn. Captain's on, killing him, out fishing everyone. Look at that. Captain finally gets to fish a little bit. Yeah. Spot log doing his work. Huh? Spot log doing his work. <laughs> Sir, Guti got one. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. You got a Guti? That's a good one. Work that thing, Guti. When it comes up to the water, don't don't lift him out of the water. Just keep him to the surface. Let me run a little bit. Another skate. Dang. Nice Guti. Doormat. My first keeper. Woo! Let's go! Look at that door mat! Oh my god, look at this. Holy... I mean, that might be the biggest on the boat. Yes sir, guys! Door mat. 22 inches. Guti's on another fish. Let's go, Guti. What he got? Easy with it. <laughs> what? Yeah, got you got it, Guti. This, this one you can probably go up a little bit slowly. Yeah, go real down. I don't think it's a thunder. I think it's something bigger. Yeah, go up and then real down. Yeah, up slowly, real down. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, there it is. oh my another oh, skate. Dang. I'm taking L's today. <laughs> it's a halibut. It's a halibut. Oh, Open the bail. Oh my God. Oh, Holy oh, shit. It's a halibut. Oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is a door mat. Look at that shit. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, that's a PB. Oh, that's a state god. record right there. Yo, bring him out. Holy god. Crabs. 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 Oh my god. We're filling up the cooler with founder. Look at that. I'm gonna get the net just in case. Peter's on. We've been catching left and right, guys. We just don't have time. Put the. Oh. That's a keeper. Oh, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a that's a good one, Peter. 
22. That's a 22. That's a 22 right there. Oh yeah. Nice, Peter. Thank you, sir. That up, Peter. Oh yeah, look at that panda. Panda, panda. <laughs> okay. Don't even need them. What's up, guys? So we made it back to land, ho. And we just wrapped it up, cleaned the boat, and uh, just about to go home. Caught about 12 flounders or so. Most of them were 20 inches. You guys want the coordinates? You ain't gonna get them, but we got them at the Triangle Rex, so that's all. And so, you guys wanna stay tuned for the catch and cook. We're gonna go home, cook out some flounder, and it's gonna be real good. See you guys when we get home. Alright guys, we made it back home. Kind of long day, so I think uh, we're gonna cook the flounder tomorrow. So you're probably gonna see this in the next clip. But this is what it's looking like. Got a whole bunch of flounder. Let me get let me get off the truck. Oh. Man, we got so many flounder. I think we got kind of almost a limit, but Anthony caught this big flounder right here. 26 inch flounder and then we caught a whole bunch of 20 22s 24s and it was just a good time so uh we'll see you guys once we're in the kitchen which is probably tomorrow what's up guys we just uh next day we just took a nap last night and woke up and we just uh vacuum sealing all the flounder we cleaned it up um but this is the amberjack Anthony and Sang went out fishing like two weeks ago or so and caught some amberjack, but we didn't get any footage of that. And then, let's see, Anthony's about to cure some of the amberjack belly. So how we cured is, uh, Anthony can take it. Yeah, so we, we just get some uh, regular salt, sprinkle just a little bit on there. Not too much, because it makes it too salty. <laughs> Should be good for this side. Even coat, maybe a little bit more. Yo, I swear this flounder just blinked at me. <laughs> I think it's still alive. Yeah, we blink. vacuum seal in a flounder, make them fresh. You guys don't have a vacuum seal for your fish, you should get one. Make sure you get both sides with salt. <laughs> and what does this uh, cure do, Anthony? It basically just takes away the fishy taste of it. It makes it a little bit more tender. So it's uh, a lot better when you're eating it raw. Gives it a little, uh, a little uh, texture to it. What's up? This right here is sugar. Yeah, For this, usually you want to put more sugar than salt because uh, sugar can't make it taste <clears throat> So like two parts sugar, one part salt kind of thing? Maybe like three parts sugar. All right. I don't really know, I just well, eyeball it, but. 100% more sugar than salt. Normally when I turn the light, the light switch on, the, the fan light is on. Mm -hmm. I already tested the light switch. That's right there. All sealed flounder, ready to freeze. Anytime you want to eat, you just take it out, defrost it, and cook it up. Yeah, we had this sitting in the freezer for about a week and a half. Make sure all the worms are gone, but honestly, we don't care about that. Yeah. Fish is fish. <laughs> fish is fish. Well, uh, once you're done with that, wire, just let it cure for 45 hot. minutes. Uh, only reads like low voltage, like maybe like five. 45 minutes. Voltage. Come back. Uh, I'll show you how to rinse it off, and then we'll prep the sashimi for you guys. Yes, sir. This is what we're cooking up today. We're cooking up a uh, black sea bass and a flounder, and then we're gonna sashimi that amberjack belly. Yeah. So, what we're doing with this flounder is that we're gonna do this tamarind kind of sticky sauce, and we're just gonna fry up the flounder and then put it on top. I'm pretty sure. It's Matt's recipe. It's gonna be real good. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. So, what we're doing here is doing a little salt and pepper, and uh, Sam's putting some cornstarch on it. What does the cornstarch do, Sam? Uh, it helps make it a little crispy. Make it a little crispier? Yeah. If you guys haven't tried fried, fried flounder this way, it's pretty good. And then we cut it up the same way last time into little slits. 
There we go. Do that one more time on this side. You want to pat it all dry. I mean, uh, pat all the excess off. Just try not to make a mess all over the house. Getting over the uh, sink might be a good idea, you know what I'm saying? Flip it over. Good. Pat all the excess off. Hmm. Making me hungry. All right, we're gonna see you guys when it comes frying, but we're just gonna do both sides for the sea bass too, and we'll see you guys when we start frying. All right, guys. So we're gonna do this tamarind paste too. We're just gonna get everything started. We're using this tamarind paste right here, and we're just gonna cut half of this up and then put it in this warm bowl of water and kind of mash it up so it kind of dissolves a little bit, and then we're gonna strain it and then we're gonna start preparing the sauce for it. So. Uh, we're gonna get on. All right, so we're just cutting it up in this piece right here. We're just putting this water and then start mashing it up. We get a spoon. Get it all mashed up. And then uh, we'll see you guys when we start making the sauce. All right, guys, I'm preparing the other half of the sauce while Justin's doing the paste over there. Basically, what we're doing is chopping up a whole bunch of garlic and some uh, red peppers. After all this is chopped up, we're going to food process it in our handheld food processor. Make it uh, fine so it, it mixes in with the sauce well. And we're going to pour that over the flounder. So uh, we'll get back to you guys when the sauce is fully done. Appetizing. <laughs> all right, so we resolved in uh, getting a pair of gloves and mushing it all up. We just like mushing it all up so all the kind of paste comes out and everything, and then start cooking it up, I guess. You know? All right, guys, once you got everything uh, in the handheld food processor, basically all I did was just cut the tops of the pepper and uh, de uh, peel, and I peeled all the garlic. Consistency you want right here? Oh, yeah. A nice fine consistency. Yeah. Smells good. Yeah. Wow. Alright, so the AJ is done. Look at all this water that came out of the AJ right here. It has a nice firm texture now. Basically all you want to do is just run it in some cold water. Make sure all the water or the salt and sugar is off. Okay. Put that here. The other one. The one right here. And then you're gonna want to pat dry it. Usually it works better with the rag, but we don't have one right now. Take a look at that AJ right here. It's got a firm texture now. So I'm gonna rinse off this cutting board and cut it up for you guys. We're firing up the flounder right now. So you guys get to see that soon. All right, Cap, what you doing over here? Let's see, let's see, what are we doing? We just fried some fish. Got the cornstarch on top. Couldn't really get a pot big enough, so we just work with what we do. Normally I have a ladle. and ladle the hot oil on top of the other side, but I couldn't find it. So we're just going to do a spatula and uh, get some of that oil on the other side so to get a nice even cook.
Perfect. What right, we got guys. going on here? All right, guys. So what we did was uh, just put some warm water here, kind of mash it up, separate all the seeds, and kind of stem off the tamarind. And uh, we're just straining it right now, so all the seeds and stuff um, just you know get separated. And we're throwing away all the seeds and stems, so it doesn't kind of get into our sauce. And then we kind of got this like gravy kind of water consistency right here of the tamarind sauce. And then we're just gonna cook it up. Season it up and uh, it's going to be real good right on top of this flounder, so. All right, Aunt. I just uh, finished trimming up the AJ, cutting those some smaller pieces so it has a nice, uh, a nice presentation like this. This is actually some pretty fatty meat. We're actually using the AJ, uh, the AJ belly. So hopefully it's really fatty. It's a little firm, so it's going to have a nice texture to it. But yeah, I'm going to cut all this up for you guys and then we're going to do a taste test when we uh, finish cooking everything. So stay tuned for that guys, That's gonna, it's going to be amazing, amazing uh, dinner right here. Amazing. Put that other side. We need to bring this to JC's uh, restaurant, cook it on the big deep fryer. Right. <laughs> Alright Cap. Finished frying the flounder. Not too bad. On to the next. One sea bass. Let's we'll see which one tastes better. All right, guys. We're gonna sauté these uh, garlic and peppers I processed earlier. Put some oil in the pan, maybe some coconut oil. Good. Heat this up. All right, guys. So the oil is heated up. I threw a small piece of garlic in it to see if it's hot enough. It's perfect right now. I'm going to temp down to about 5 or medium heat. Throw this on here. You don't want to brown it too much. You kind of still want a little crunch to it, but you just want to saute it a little bit so it gets the flavor out. All right, guys, this is to the point where it's about to start turning brown. You can see it has like a, a little color change, but you don't want too dark of one. So that how to make rice. Yes. We forgot the rice. We gotta cook it. Hopefully, it uh, cooks in time. All right, guys. <laughs> Time to pour in the tamarind paste right here. <coughs> Too late. Oh, which one to save it for? Uh, I was gonna mix it first. Oh, really? Alright, guys. Mix all this in right here? Oh, shit. Yeah, so this is a little too thick, guys, so you want to put some water in there? Usable. No, that one. Yeah, we know what we're doing. <laughs> we know the okay. This is the guys. first time making this, guys. Oh, here. Hey. Oh. Hmm. You're gonna want to render this down until it gets a little, uh, until it gets a little thick. Right now, it's uh, it's almost there, but you're gonna want to cook it down. It's gonna change the look like a little darker color, be a little thicker. That's what you want. We go, we'll come back to you guys once it's ready. I'll show you guys the final uh, sauce product. We're gonna pour it over the flounder. And we're gonna have a good dinner tonight, guys. All right, guys, so it's almost there. We put, basically the recipe is garlic, um, red, like Thai chili pepper, some fish sauce, brown sugar, palm sugar. We're gonna throw in a little bit of a cornstarch A little bit of beer slurry. in there too. <laughs> Picked up. <laughs> Picked up right there. It's okay, beer always uh, makes food taste better. But we're gonna put in a cornstarch slurry soon to uh, thicken up the paste because right now it's a little liquidy. Actually, you know what? You know what? Yeah. Alright, yeah. guys, right. we're gonna eat the sashimi right here. A little appetizer. Get a nice dip right here. Cheers, guys. Mmm. All right, let me see what this is all about. Wow, that cure made a really good texture on it. 
This one we definitely froze it for a couple days just to make sure because you know how Amberjack can get. Quick bite. Huh. Wow. How is that? It's sweet. It's sweet? Really sweet. Mmm. Wow. Jovan, you want to try? Yes. Mm. Try. This is my third time. <laughs> It needs a little bit more wasabi. Mm -hmm. mm. It's good? Yes, it's, sir. It's just like fish. I'm gonna try some of this. Oh, you talk. <laughs> Is that the tail part? Oh, no, there's no tail. Mm -hmm. It's all built in there. Mmm. Really good. You all ever have amberjack belly? Honestly, you all should try it. We might have to go to it. Y'all scared of the worms? Mm -hmm. Make sure, you know. Get one with no worms, <laughs> you'll be fine. <laughs> Just cut the tail out. That's all I made yeah. one. This much of the tail that has worms. And honestly, you can eat the worms if you want. Mm -hmm. yeah, they're not, not very acidic. No. But yeah, if y'all are scared of that, freeze it for at least a week. Make sure all the parasites are dead and then sashimi it. Best thing ever. All right, so we're going to finish this up, a little appetizer, and then uh, we'll show you guys once we eat in the flounder. Start with the picture. All right, guys, the flounder is all good. Look at that. Nice plate and everything. Now we're gonna put the sauce right on top. Wow. Extra sauce for the bottom. Wow. Look at that, guys. All right, we're gonna get some rice and we're gonna eat it up. All right, guys, we're gonna go in for the taste test. Everybody grub in. It's gonna be real good. Yeah. Alright Anthony, you try some. Yes. We got a nice piece for you guys. You guys go. Wow, quick time. Yeah, this is some rice. How is it Anthony? Wow. That's real amazing guys. Real good? Mm-hmm. Alright. Jovin go and grub in. You don't use chopsticks. Oh, is it good, oh Jovin? Bussin? <laughs> Alright, I gotta do a little quick bite now. Alright. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh no! Right. Oh, a little cucumber. Oh wow. How's it? Mm -hmm. Bussin? Wow. Yeah, the cucumber? That's awesome. Oh, That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, let me try it's this, guys. Too. Mm. Let me try this. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. It's a big bite. How they do this? I don't know. Yeah, grab the camera. Mm. I'm gonna have to ask for that, uh, soft recipes. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, that shit is good. Never gonna taste the same again. It never does. Give me a little quick bite of chili pepper, too. Here, this is, let's make a perfect bite. Wow. wow. You guys need to try this recipe. Alright, let's do this. Mm. Mm. Amazing! Fantastic! <laughs> A little bit of crunchy onion. <laughs> Finish it off. Oh, nice. mm. That's finger looking good. Okay. We're gonna finish this up, guys, and um, we'll get back to you. See you next time. See you guys. All right, guys. Well, if you guys enjoyed that video of us flounder fishing and catching all this fish and cooking it up for you guys, we're finishing it up. We're destroying this flounder. And uh, I believe we're gonna go flounder fishing again Wednesday. So uh, stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna do another recipe and uh, it's gonna be real good. So stay tuned and like, subscribe, comment, and uh, catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.